video for you guys and it's a haul on all of my new Christmas stuff that I recently purchased from Joann's um, I'm going for a new theme this year um, this is my first year filming my Christmas stuff on YouTube but every year I like to change it up or add to whatever I did the year before um, so this year I'm going more for like a pink coral and gold and a little bit of green in there um, yeah, it's a weird mix, but surprisingly, I did find what I needed at Joann's. And I'm so excited to show you guys. They had a 60% off sale yesterday, so I went ahead and just got exactly everything I needed. Um, at least like for the main pieces. So let me show you guys. I'm gonna start off with, um, let's see. I'll start off with the ornaments because these are the ones like a little more fragile. So I got this little pink car and it's like a pearl pink. Um, usually I don't like buying these glass ones because they're so they're so fragile. But I thought it was so pretty and I'm gonna try to take care of it. Hopefully, you know, it'll last me for a while. And it says just married. I got just married because this year, a week before exactly a week before Christmas, my brother is getting married and um this is sort of a theme you know a little bit of pink and burgundies and all that so I want to put this on there just um you know in honor of their marriage so I might add a little charm here with like their initials or 2020 but yep this is what this one looks like and then I also got this cute little cocoa mug and it's also one of those glass ornaments and I like the cute little straw that was added on there that's really cute it's a peppermint mocha and yeah so this is what this looks like and then i also got this cute little nutcracker and i like it because he is like a matte color and um yeah so i'm going with like a a red pink burgundy and coral and gold so yeah, it's a little hard and a little bit of green too. And it's a little hard to explain because I was on Pinterest trying to find ideas on how to combine those colors. And I saw them combined, but with more of a hot pink. And I'm trying to avoid the hot pink. I'm trying to do everything just red, burgundy, light pink, and and um, gold and coral. Um, once I start decorating, I am going to show like a video process and all that. Just... You know just to inspire some of you i don't know if you guys are decorating early this year but i'm thinking of decorating next week which is mid-november already so i'm excited so yeah so this is this is him and last but not least i got this little cookbook ornament now this is not the color that i'm going for but it's okay it's a small detail it's nothing crazy but this here is a combination of what i'm going for the the light pink the gold the red and then the burgundy and coral so okay so these are the ornaments that that i got i'm so excited to dress up my tree okay and i also picked up a mug i got this eat drink and be merry uh, my coffee bar always stays the same theme that's something that I like to keep in that theme and the theme is all can peppermint so it's like candy canes red and white I have this big Santa that I put on there too and I will for sure also share that and this mug was um it was ten dollars but with the 60% off it was four dollars so this was the last one in this color there were a lot of the white the gray and the dark green but this was the the last red one so it seems like it's a popular one I also got this cute sign it says jolly and it's got these acrylic um, little this little acrylic back right here because you can put batteries and light it up and um, this was in that section where they have all like the the DIY um, 
you know the DIY uh, frames and all that so I guess it's to paint it but I don't feel comfortable painting the inside part because it's so close to the letters I don't want to mess up and I don't mind this wood finish but this one right here I am gonna paint I'm gonna paint um, I'm not sure yet if I should do it red or if I should do it on um, pink but I will paint it for sure and um, I don't know what color the light the lights are when they turn on I assume just a white or yellow um, but yeah so I'm gonna paint the frame possibly pink or coral I'm not sure yet I'm gonna go through my paints and see what I have and that's all the fixtures I'm gonna do to it I don't want to add or anything else but yeah this is really pretty um jolly is actually the name of our elf on the shelf so that's why I went with jolly they had jolly and uh, I can't remember what other word they had but they had another word too so I just went with jolly because that's our elf in the shelf's name on the shelf and one of my favorite pieces I got this cute little pink light up Christmas tree I saw this a while back already and I wanted it so badly and again I got this for 60% off so yeah, it lights up. I need to add batteries. This is just a testing one. But yeah, look at how pretty this is. It's so pink and colorful. This is going to go on our entrance table. I'm going to decorate it along with the sign. Um, yeah, so it's got all these fun colors. I did notice that all of them have this like open hole like this. So I guess they're meant to be like that. But then I was at Target and I saw some similar but smaller. And they had a little gold star on top. So... I'm a little bummed out if either I missed out on the gold star and it fell or if this is just how they are. Um, most likely I'll have to add something myself up here because it looks kind of funny that way. But it's still cute. It's it's a pretty good height. Um, you know, yeah. So I wanted something a lot bigger. But at the same time, I think about storage and I think this is easier for me to store because I do have a lot of big pieces already in our in our Christmas stuff. So yeah, this is this is it. It's really cute. I love it. And let's see. I also got stockings. And now I don't have a mantle. We don't have a fireplace. Um, I got stockings that I plan on hanging. Probably like I don't know yet because we do have an entrance table. I might look funny there, but I'm trying to see how i can work this is our first time decorating this house for christmas so it's a bit of a challenge since it's a lot different than our old house we don't have our old house had two um, mantles so i was able to decorate one side and the other um so now i'm still trying to figure it out but either way i didn't want to lose out on getting these stockings so i got this white sweater knitted looking one pretty large and then I got this red one too. And then this one I found at Target and it was the last one they had there, at least in my Target. This was the last one they had there and it's so pretty. It has the details and colors that I'm going with. So I had to pick it up, it's pretty. I think the next one that I'm going to look for will be a red and white striped one. But yeah, this is a combination of the three that I'm going with so far okay i also got um this pink fur i just got a quarter of a yard and i don't know what i'm going to do with it i had initially bought it to um to like repurpose the stockings like put this fur instead of the one it has but i was convinced to just leave that fur i had a few people over yesterday and they're just like nope that's a that's a pretty color, just leave it. Um, so I have this that I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out once we start decorating. It's a very nice, soft pink fur. It's such a challenge to cut. I, Me, I would have just ran the scissors through it, but when I was at Joanne's, the girl said, no, you're supposed to do a small tear and then you rip it. So good to know, cause I would have just ran the scissors through it. I didn't know that's how you cut that type of fabric i also got this um this trim and this is more like a 
like a softer pink, more like a cream pink, blush pink, I guess. It's not so much of like pink pink, it's more like a blush pink. So I got this trim just in case um, I end up finding some like solid stockings. I'm just gonna add this trim to it, the pom-poms. I also got the, I also got the wood stocking and this one we're gonna paint so that's gonna be my project we're gonna paint this one um, like a light pink and then um, just kind of go through some of the details I might put tape so I can stay in the gaps and then up here I'll either do our last name or I don't know yet maybe a little a little something so moving on um we also got these little felt and diy kits um i got these because i think i might add them to a garland that i plan on making with pom-poms so these are cute since they're you know gingerbread go with like a like the um theme for my coffee bar no not for my coffee bar but um kitchen and then this one we got it's a giant pom-pom character for um, our cat, <laughs> kids wanted to just, we're not gonna put the little eyes on just so he doesn't chew them off, but they wanted to make this for him. So that's what we got him. And um, I also got these ribbons. These are like about the colors that I'm, I'm going for. And these, this was a good deal. These were buy two, get four free. So I paid, um, for eight, so eight bucks for all um, six of these. So it's not bad, it's a little less than, a little over a dollar, I guess, or what would it be? So yeah, so I got this one that says Merry Christmas. I got this um, metallic red and white one. Then I got this red one with a little bit of like a tan on the end. Then I got this red and white stitched looking one and then i got these two velvets so i got the deep red and the light pink and then i also got this little baby blue tree i got baby blue it's not part of my theme but this is for my craft room i like having extra little things that i can use for my backdrops and my photos and I also want to decorate my craft room this year. So I plan on doing um, everything um, baby blue, light pink, and gold. So that's the theme I'm going for in here. And I'll also do a video. Maybe that video will come up first before decorating my house because that's where I plan on decorating first. And then I saved the best for last. I got this Santa. So... Let's see. I want to bring my camera a little further back so you can take a good look at him. So yeah, so I got this Santa right here. He's so cute. They had, um, Joanne's has this uh, collection and it's all like sweater weather collection. It's such a cute collection. I wanted it all, but I wanted to just focus first on getting the stuff from my house. Um, but yeah, this is a Santa that, that um, I got from there and they had these little um they had this collection with like these little sweaters um in frames and then they also had them in a garland they had it also like in this like sign and it said like um jingle all the way or something like that and um i don't know it was just such a cute collection that's where i picked up the the baby blue tree i picked it up from that they had a bigger one than this one they had a white one with this color ornaments on it so yeah, it's a very cute collection. I cannot wait to decorate my craft room. That video is coming up soon. The only thing I'm missing for my craft room are lights. I want to put these cute little lights um, around the edges just to kind of make it more Christmassy in here. And I want to work on a wreath as well. So, so yeah, so these are all the items that I got. Almost forgot to mention this one here. Um, this is a garland that I also got from Joann's. It was super tangled in my bag. So I had it hanging on the side of my craft room, but it ties in all the colors that I am going for. Got my ribbon, got my Christmas tree, got my little DIY projects, my jolly sign, my mug, 
ornaments, just everything that I needed for my, my Christmas theme. I'm so, so, so excited. Um, yeah, so this is it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, check out my stories. I'm going to show a little DIYs. I'm not DIYs. I'm behind the scenes of all of this. And I'm so excited for this season. Hopefully you guys too. Hopefully you guys can go to Joann's and pick something up if you liked any of these items. I was so excited that my vision is going to come to life. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. More Christmas videos coming up. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for the support. I really appreciate. Um, I know my views aren't like big, you know, obviously. But it just means a lot to me that people are watching, even if it's just a few. It just means a lot to me. So thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.